My name is Oliver Andrew and I'm the uh, Global Challenge French Architects winner. My project is located in the Thames Estuary, just downstream from London. I chose London because of its need for future expansion of its airport networks in the next 20 to 30 years. The airports at the moment they have are getting towards capacity. I also chose London because I have been studying there for the past three years. I know the city well, I know its culture, as well as its orientation. The things that inspired me for this proposal were Concorde, because I think it's one of the most incredible engineering achievements in the last century. Its overall design, aesthetics and technology revolutionised the way that we travelled. Its shape overall, a delta wing, was the main inspiration for my project. My proposal innovates airport design because it looks into the typology that's currently in place and creates new technologies and new systems. The way the customer uses and experiences the airport will be completely different from what it is today. The passenger will get to the terminal by public transport, either a super fast train link from London or a hydrofoil ferry system from London. Both would be serviced underground to the island floating in the Thames Estuary. They would arrive at a lower ground level and work their way up into the main terminal building. The next step in their journey will be they will travel up through the building and they will eventually come to a relaxation forest where they are met by plants that help them relax by the sensorial experience. The passengers will be notified by their mobile phone of when they need to go to their assigned sky gate. The passenger will arrive at their assigned sky gate in which they will get into their own personal pod. This pod holds 200 people and will be driven by GPS satellite all the way to their landing pad. Once the pod, called a transpod, arrives there, it will be loaded directly into the plane in an act of podization. My proposal will use planes that are hypersonic. The planes will take off vertically from landing pads. This is based on the Harrier jump jet of the early 1960s. The planes will fly in the upper atmosphere and could reach places like Sydney in under two and a half hours. My airport proposal has been designed around flexibility. It will be the one of the most flexible, efficient airports there has ever been. Islands can be dragged in and, met and connected to the main terminal island. The islands will be prefabricated in factories and floated to site. Ecology was at the heart of my proposal. I looked into the environment and realised that the Thames lives in a, its own ecosystem. I wanted to make sure that I didn't harm the system. I looked at creating new technologies called hydrocars, a surface to the seabed and create renewable, clean, green energy off the tidal waves. An airport of the people, an airport of innovation, an airport for the future.